Reach Academy provides an alternative learning environment for at-risk students who may need more personalized instruction to thrive. We brought the Channel 31 cameras there for their harvest fair. Let's check it out. My name is uh, John Palacio. I'm the president of the Board of Education for San Unified School District. I'm excited about uh, Reach Academy because it's an opportunity to address the needs uh, of our students in a much broader perspective. You know, we look at what, it's, uh, what, what are the academic needs as well as their personal needs. And, and when, you, when you do both, we, we come up with, with a better uh, end product in terms of academic achievement. So REACH is having their Harvest Academy, and we're all here, myself and Board, Board President Palacio, Dr. Haglin, and Oren, and we also had uh, uh, Mr. Alfonso Jimenez was here with us earlier. But you know, today is about celebrating the kids and being here for them, and, and we've made many changes here at REACH, and Mr. Trucker, along with Kinship, has done some very good work. And you know, I won't call it a challenge, but the day-to-day -day work that's being done here is to help our kids that are on the cusp and instead of having them drop out of school or end up incarcerated, we're working with them to get them back into to their traditional school setting. That's what we're all about at Santa Ana Unified. We're about helping our kids, improving them. We do it one day at a time and one student at a time. And REACH is just another example of the fine work that we're doing in our district. So I thank everybody for participating. The food service workers are here, um, the staff, excuse me. The tamales are amazing. Um, and it's, I had lunch with the kids and that was the best part of the day. So thank you for everybody. Uh, that participated. We have programs at all of our schools that that implement restorative practices and circles and uh, and ways to connect with the kids that haven't yet gotten in trouble. And so, to a degree, um, the the better job we do at this comprehensive school sites, the least the, the less necessary this program is. But there are always going to be kids that need that opportunity to reconnect, and this is a special place where that can happen. Hey there, I'm Stephanie Phillips, and the reason why it's really important to have a place like Reach Academy is because it really uh, provides students with more one-on-one -on -one support and more targeted assistance when, when it comes to um, dealing with issues that they have that may take them away from the classroom, that may take them away from traditional settings. This is a much smaller setting. It's more of an academy uh, feature and they get a lot of one-on-one -on -one support and targeted support and people who listen and pay attention to them. Um, not that the other schools don't, but there's just more and more students and less, less adults in those settings. So this is a really intimate, really focused setting that is really focused on supporting our kids and getting them back to where they need to be. My name is Rosa Villa. I'm the office manager here at Reach Academy. And, um, I feel that our school is it's a great opportunity for our students that are um, experiencing difficult times to be able to uh, restore their um, behavior problems or their attendance problems or whatever problem it is that they're having and it's they're not being able to focus at a comprehensive school so by being here and having access to the resources available to them here they are able to um, be better what can you give for advice to parents Parents, it would be great for them to be um, more involved, more available. I understand that our community, um, our parents, both of our parents are working parents, so it's difficult for them to be available all the time. But if they would just stop by the school, check in, see how their kids are doing, making sure that they are coming to school and that they are doing the work that is necessary for them to do so that they can be successful and move on back to comprehensive that it's something that we would really appreciate from the parents. Uh, Steve Kim, Project Kinship, another beautiful day here at REACH. Uh, really always inspired by the youth here on how resilient they are and how they teach us about courage and strength and hope. Uh, today I have the great privilege to introduce our guest speaker, did an amazing job inspiring the youth, Alicia, Alicia Cass. Uh, would you say a few words about today? Hi, well, I'm an ex-gangbanger, ex-dope dealer, ex-high school dropout, teenage mom, ex-foster care youth. Um, what I got out today, I'm hoping to inspire somebody. I went back and got my high school diploma, my GED, my bachelor's, my master's from USC, and now in a doctorate program. Just wrote a book. So just hoping to inspire them to let them know that we believe in them, that they're important to us, and that they're important to society. My name is Susan. I'm 
what I like about this school is that everybody can like express itself, you know? You got teachers here from every single class, you know, they're like, they got you, you know? They're, they're always protecting you, supporting you to reach up your goal, you know? Some of them have respect, some of them don't, but that's how you go learning in life, you know? What do you want to do? What are some of the things you see for yourself in the future? Well, for myself, what I see in my future is to be a mechanic, you know? From right here, I'm, I see like support and everything, and then they could like take me out to succeed in life, you know? And that's what I like about it. As a mother of eight, grandmother of four, all we can do is keep pouring into your kids, keep saying positive affirmations. Even when we see other, we want to speak the things that we want to happen, not the things that we're seeing concurrently. Because anything that you pour into them, they're absorbing whatever you say. If you call them stupid and dumb and lazy, then they're taking that, they're ingesting that, and they begin to walk in that. So let's turn our words around and speak positive things until we see the results. My name is Marcos, and what I like about this school is that the teacher encourage you to do your work and like try make you try to achieve your goals in in the future. I like something about the school, the teachers. The teachers help us a lot. Uh, okay. What did you get here? What is this? What did uh, you get this for? Oh, I got a award for Spanish. I struggled, but I still got it. That's all. My name is Isaac Perez, and I like the school Reach Academy because I love every teacher in this place. You know, they all support each and one of us. No matter what, like the circumstances is, we're all here supporting one another, and we got nothing but mad love for each other. I keep believing in my uh, goals and dreams, and hopefully I will achieve them. Well, we have to lead by example. If the kids uh, want to know that we believe in them, this is an example that we do believe in them. That's great. And I heard you were offering to take one of them to dinner if they can get you. That's correct. We'll we'll work it out. Uh, my name's Gilbert Sinaceros, and um, uh, I like. Uh, working at this uh, school is because um, uh, I like to, to help the kids out when they you know have some issues. Um, I may not be a teacher, but you know a lot of them come to me, and uh, maybe I can help them in some way. Um, I got uh, one of the students uh, uh, helping graduate, and he's going to be joining the Navy. So you know, any any way that I can help, you know, uh, help one student at a time. My name is Diego Castellan and this is a good place because it helps you out a lot and it really teachers help you out. If you get stuck on something, they help you out. And I graduated, I left this school with something that I remember and I left to Sunburst and I got out of Sunburst and I still come to this school to visit because I love this school. My name is Desiree and what I like about Reach Academy is the teachers really care for you. Um, I would love to study to be a psychiatrist. Hi, my name is Alex Sandejas. I am the school psychologist at Reach Academy. What do you like about the kids, and why is it a good thing for them to have access to this kind of facility? This is a wonderful school. It's very restorative. Um, students get lots of opportunities to build relationships with um, with the teachers, with the staff. Principal at Reach Academy and today we're having the first ever uh, Harvest Festival. Really it's just to celebrate the student successes that they've had. Um, it's been a great year and a half. 
um, with the restorative uh, practices, the positive culture we've created. You know, the students' discipline has went down, their attendance has went up, their test scores has went up. And this year we've added a lot of components that we believe are going to help them when they return to the schools, the higher order thinking, Cornell notes, and all our other avid strategies. And again, we're just out here today celebrating with the students. Thank you. If you'd like more information about REACH Academy, go to the district website at www.sausd.us and search for REACH Academy.